Well, I've been with the town of Stanley for seven years. Um, and Prime Solutions Equipment, we've had this press installed for, uh, in June will be two years. We, uh, we're using drying beds as our means for sludge preparing and needed to upgrade our facilities. And we looked at different types of presses and even centrifuges. And after looking the Prime Solution press come out, uh, we had it demoed. And for the cost of, of installation and, and the, the process and, and how well it worked, it was the best option for a small town like us. Our biggest problem before was with drying beds wintertime. We had enough load that during the winter we couldn't hold over anymore. Uh, so we had to have something that would run us year round. We normally are only processing 15 to 20,000 gallons a week on, on average. Our sludge reduction, uh, uh, due to the high turnover rate that we had, as of date, uh, if we stay on schedule from now to June, we will have dropped our solids by 40 to 50 percent this year as opposed to when we were hauling to drying beds. We lost a lot of sand in the landfill, so we were paying the landfill sand. So cost effectively, we're hauling less solids uh, to the landfill. We had looked at some belt presses, different ones, uh, from time to time, and, and we'd had some belt presses to come in in the wintertime. We would get backed up. We had some belt presses to come in and actually press our solids out to get us through uh, back to the summer. And we also looked at a centrifuge over across the mountain. But when we looked at the cost effectiveness and, and, and all of it, the, the Prime Solution Press was by far superior for our application. The ease of operation, you don't have to stand over it continually. Another thing about the press is that unlike belt presses, it doesn't have a lot of moving parts to go bad and wear out. So uh, maintenance wise, it'd be a lot better. It'll work year round. You can use it during any type of weather. And uh, it sure beats shoveling drying beds. <laughs>